All right, everybody, so we're going to get rolling. Um, this is, again, it's just going to be the athlete view or soldier view. Um, I'm going to start by showing this really quickly um, in a mobile view, just so you know that it is available the same way for them um, in both this view and um, in the desktop view. I'm going to do a desktop view for the interest of space um, and get rolling. So, again, it's going to be really short and sweet. Just wanted to show you a few things that happen after you as a leader or as a coach has, you know, maybe sent out a notification, sent a message, assigned to them a training program, assigned them a questionnaire or survey, how they can log their nutrition, what their overview page really looks like, and then it, what it would look like if they have content assigned to them. So I'll start at the top and work the way down, um, just so you have a general idea of what to expect the end result to be when you send them over um, a dashboard or content or anything of that sort. So um, with that being said, I'm going to start up in the top here. Uh, you can see there's three options. They have their notifications pane, the message pane, just like you do, and their profile pane as well, um, where they can edit their account and everything like that. But if they were to go ahead and click on the bell saying they have one notification or if they had come from push notification on their phone into the app, they can see it in a quick view here. Uh, as you can see, their coach had sent out a daily schedule and says refer to your overview page to see that schedule for the day. Um, now that I've clicked this as this athlete, that coach is going to get a, notif or a, a view of that little eyeball, and I'll show you this at the end, that, that this athlete, it changed the color of this athlete, your soldier saw it. And if I scroll down as the soldier onto my screen, I can see I've got my daily schedule for the day, I've got my list, and I'm good to go there. And while I'm there, I can see I had other content assigned to me, health content, whatever it may be, um, sent out to that soldier. So they have that access right there on that feed. In this feed, the soldier will see items that are the past seven days, so today and seven days back, but they can go ahead and say load older or load all if they want to scroll through, you know, like basically an Instagram style feed of everything that's ever been assigned to their feed um, so they can, you know, maybe catch up or see what's been going on or refer back to something that they had seen in the past as well. Um, next is going to be their messaging. So same thing, top of the screen, click on that envelope and it'll bring you to your messages pane um, where they can see Coach Clay has sent me a message saying, let's get some extra work in before practice. They can go ahead and say, sounds great, see you then, and send that back to them. Coach will get a notification saying that they responded. And the athlete, just as the coach does, will have the option to see who read their messages. So if they message their coach back saying, sounds great, they can see if the coach has read it or not. Um, so it's a nice tool for them too to see if their message got across or if they have to do you know, something extra to get a hold of you or anything like that. They can refresh the screen just like you can, and they're good to go. So again, really similar to your interface as a coach or a leader, um, but they have the same thing. And then we do have the new permission of um, athlete can message coach um, that can be customized by our development team. Say, you know, you want to give the athlete the option to start a conversation with strength staff or with diet dietitian or with the mental readiness team. We can turn that on um, so that they can go ahead and reach out to you initially on their own without having to answer a question on a questionnaire or something like that, too. So keep that in mind. Um, next step down, you have three widgets at the top as well as their activities. So you can see they have one training program to complete today, one questionnaire to complete today, and the option to fill out nutrition. Um, and it's also listed here so they can see that it's a strength workout today. They have their daily wellness, and they, if that's an option that's turned on, weight pre and post workout. So. As an athlete, I can go ahead and if I click on the training header on this box, it brings me to my workout pane that's been assigned to me. So I have today's assignments. I'll view all. Go ahead and pop into it. And I select today. It's the only thing I have. And boom, I'm in there. I'm the athlete. I can go ahead and click on it and get started on my workout for the day. Um, I can enter, you know, what else, whatever I lifted for my sets. I can see what I have entered in the past if there has any, any exercise history. I can watch a demonstration video on this exercise, and I can leave a, a note for my coach saying, my left knee hurts when I squat, so that you know. Um, and you'll see that in completion report as a coach. So that's their interaction with it. Um, they can complete. They can also skip an exercise. So say that left knee hurt and they don't want to do it anymore, they can skip. Um, and if they're just flowing through, maybe they just wanted to view it on list view, that athlete or soldier has an opportunity to look at what's going on and then hit a double check when they've completed everything. And it brings them back to their overview page. It'll give you the option to rather. Once I've marked this day as complete, it'll say, do I want to review my workout and see what I did today or return to home? I'm going to go back home. 
I can see my tonnage today was 675 pounds, and I can pop back to my home screen from here and see I'm, I'm one out of one. I did what I was supposed to do today on my workout. Next here is questionnaire. Simply put, they open it up. This is what a, a completed questionnaire looks like on the athlete's view. So they can see when it's required. They can see what their selection is very clearly, and this will populate in any reports or any widgets that you guys may have on your coach's screen. Um, and then they can go ahead and select any muscle soreness, whatever it may be, to let you know stuff hurts today um, and give you an idea there. So um, once the athlete or soldier is happy with what they filled out, they hit save. And again, they are brought back to the home screen um, where they can see they now did one out of one. They did what they're supposed to do today, what was asked of them today, and they're happy with that. Uh, the next thing I'll show you is just how they log a couple meals. But before I do, um, this widget is actually interactive. So you can see it's split out macros based on this widget. Um, by percentages of their calories for the day so far. But what you can also do is click on it and it does swip. Or now on your phone, if you tap on this widget, it'll switch to how many calories of each, uh, just a raw number versus a percentage over those macros. So you can see what's going on that way or switch back to percentages. So that's just a little interaction that we have on the nutrition widget. Uh, more to come as, as far as those widgets go as well as we continue to develop here. So with that said, if they click on the header, it actually brings them to the nutrition page itself where they can go ahead and say, um, I'm gonna add my food. I had some chicken for dinner. They can search it, or of course they can scan it if they're on their phone. Um, say I had chicken and I had three servings of three ounces. So I had nine ounces of chicken. Boom, I'm in, pop into my dinner, and it automatically updates um, their percentages. And again, if they tap on this, it'll switch between percentages and calories for each um, as they populate there. So that's how they report that. They can also click on the micronutrients box, if you guys have probably seen this before, um, to see if they have any targets that they need for any micronutrients, they can report on that there themselves. So this looks identical to what the coach's view on nutrition looks like for them as well, but it's interactive for them. They can go ahead and add foods to their day. With that being said, um, that is pretty much entirely how the interaction goes with the athlete view on their overview page. Um, the other thing that they have is on this tab down here, the My Data tab. And there's two options. They can have any dashboards that have been assigned to them on here that they can scroll through themselves. Again, this will populate on mobile and on their computers, no matter where they're logging in. And again, that's customized by their coaches. And then if they were to click on the top here, and they go to the, my data overview. This is a, a poll that'll show nutrition. It'll also show any data that we can pull from their wearables and it'll tell you what the sources are too. So um, in this, we have the wearables turned off because this guy doesn't have anything connected. But if they had an Apple Watch on, a Garmin, a Fitbit, those widgets would automatically populate if they're receiving data from those wellness widgets. It'll show them their resting heart rate, their average heart rate for the day, steps completed for the day, um, and I think hours of sleep comes across as well in these widgets. And those will only populate if the soldier or athlete has a wearable connected to the platform that shows that data. But it just all populates down here and it's a quick way for them to see essentially like a home screen of their Apple Watch or their Garmin or something like that with just quick at a glances of their data. And then anything deeper than that would be on view my dashboards where your coach says, I want you to see, you know, distance travel or whatever it may be that's on there. But that's really simple, really self-explanatory. That's just a way for soldiers to see their own data within their apps um, quickly by just tapping over their, their My Data tab. And they can always send messages to their coaches saying, why don't I see this? Can I see this? Whatever it may be, and switch it over from there. Um, so that's, that's really it in a nutshell. Um, now that I've completed everything as this athlete, I'm going to go ahead and switch back out of this athlete and show you the results on the coaches page. So you can see, see that it does update as the athlete or soldier completes their things. Um, so I have my coach's widgets. I was logged in as Jeffrey Berry. You can see I now have a check mark on my training for today. I can go ahead and message them, ask them how it went. I can click on the training so I can view a completion report of what that athlete did for that day. So I see completion report is my option. I tap on that and boom, I can see that they reported, hey, my left knee hurts when I squat it, and they skipped the set. Um, so nice and easy, a way to just review that stuff as the coach. You can see they interacted with it. You can see they did it. You can also see their view when you select into their athlete profile that they did everything to. Um, again, it fills in. You can see that they have reported wellness for today. They had a score of 18. They didn't have any previous, so it's a plus 18. 
And then you can see they logged calories and nutrition too. So they're at 1,428 calories for the day so far. Um, so very simple. And then the last thing I'll do is go to my notif notifications pane as the coach, go to my scent and I see, oh, I was logged in as Coach Clay. Let me pause for a minute. Just so I can show you that the eye does actually change colors when people interact with their notifications. All right, so back to my home screen here. I see you now, view all. I go to my sent notifications. And boom, I've got a green eyeball now because Philip Arnold or Jeffrey Berry have seen their daily schedule notification on their phone. And lastly, I'll just show you, here's their response to your message earlier. And again, just really simple. Hey, athlete texted me back. We're good to go get some early work in before practice today. All right, well, that's all. Um, I promised you it was going to be short and sweet for the athlete view. There's not much to it because it's what you make of it. It's, you know, the more content, the better, the more questionnaires, the better, the more data that you'll be able to have. Um, this was very simple because it's a demo, so it was only wellness questionnaire. But if they have three questionnaires, they will have the ability to access all of those surveys and everything like that. Um, and, and that's that. Any questions for me?